Time to play with some clay. I know the lighting is not the greatest, and I'm sorry, but I'm going through this basket of uh, material that uh, Donna and her boys found last week, last Friday, that has my tools in it. And I've got to get everything out and sort them, and that's why I've got this little table set up. So I can go through and pick out the things I need and the things I don't need. And that's basically all I'm going to do right now. Paper towels, I can always use those. I uh, should get my trash can right over. Really thankful to be able to find my tools. Now I gotta dig down to them. Cool. My oil lamp has got plenty of oil in it, which is good. basket with everything is here at my feet. <sighs> the joy of moving. <laughs> really is a lot of fun. Alright, I just got down to my tools. They were at the very very bottom. <laughs> Actually, uh, let's see. I'm gonna get a can here. I'm gonna take this can here, and put my tools in it, and then take it over to my sculpting table and uh, separate them out and hang them up. I am so happy to find these. I mean, I've spent probably close to a thousand dollars just on tools over the years. You uh, see a tool, you like it, you buy it. And artist tools, are always at a premium because of uh, the fact that an artist can't do it, what he's going to do without his tools. I've got a place for this here. And uh, so the people who make the tools charge a huge amount of do dollars for the tools. What I'm doing is just clearing off a little area on my table here where I can go through my tools and then start putting some of these tools up on the uh, magnetic bar that I have up here. Put a trash can around there somewhere. Oh, there it is. Ah.
conveyor for headaches. <laughs> a necessary tool when you're an artist. Lots of headaches in sculpting. All right. Just to tell you a little history of some of these tools, I got this tool from Sculpture Depot. It's a, a solid steel tool that a guy, I guess in Pakistan, from what I understand, made. And he makes his tools for sculpting from the steel of ships that are washed up against the shore. Uh, somewhere in Pakistan, I, I know I've seen videos on YouTube where they're, they recycle the steel on these uh, ships that are no longer useful and they drive them right up on the beach and, and these people cut big huge, well they cut the, the ships up into pieces. When I was a kid in Guam, uh, there, there was a ship uh, outside a village uh, on the beach that had washed up during a uh, hurricane, or they call them uh, typhoons over there. Uh, one of the first things I experienced when we moved to Guam was a typhoon the first day we were there. And let me tell you, that was one scary experience. Anyway, this is... Uh, This light is going to be in the way of some of my tools, so I'm going to have to move that light at some point. I'm pretty sure. Now, not all my tools will stick to the uh, steel bar. It's because they have a lot less uh, steel in them than aluminum. If you don't know, or you weren't uh, part of that video, I got uh, the type of steel bars that uh, you, you put your kitchen knives on that you can mount on the wall. Well, I mounted them here on my sculpting stand, and uh, I can stick a lot of my tools up there, keep them up and out of, up and out of the way. And uh, till I need them. And uh, that's real handy. Some of the bigger loop tools, the wire ended tools, are, they go up on a nail. All right, I've talked enough. I'm just going to continue separating my tools and uh, I'll see you guys manana when I get back to work on my clay and uh, start producing this new piece that I'm thinking about doing. Not sure yet I'm going to do what I'm thinking of doing yet. I had a couple of other ideas come to my mind over the last uh, couple of days, and uh, I'll take it one day at a time. All right, good night, everybody, and I'll see you uh, next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video and then check out my 
instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.